When Bertha, Seattle's humongous tunnel boring machine is finally repaired, she'll resume the work of digging and building the Alaskan Way Viaduct Tunnel. But how does she do it all? A tunnel boring machine is a big inchworm. The way it works is very simple. The head of the machine moves up about six feet at a time. The machine is start rotating and chewing through the rock. And then there is a conveyor belt that takes the muck that is being chewed up front to the back and that's transported to some place where that is removed. There are giant vacuum arms that pick up concrete arc segments and lay a ring behind the, the machine. And that, that ring becomes the actual circular wall of the new tunnel. On the back of the ring, there are hydraulic thrusters that, that push off the ring and propel the machine forward. The workmen down in the tunnel are called sand hogs. It's a dangerous job to begin with but the conditions surrounding them are another story. In January of 2014, there was some uh, ins uh, cleaning and uh, inspection work done at the front uh, of the machine. That had to be done in, under hyperbaric pressure. The bottom of the machine is deep enough to have four times atmospheric pressure against any workers who go there. They will go in, get into a pressurized chamber, acclimate themselves, uh, go out and, and work. If it's not done carefully enough, uh, they, people can get the bends. That's why the majority of tunneling work is done by the machine. And when the project is finally complete... It will be a transformative uh, uh, event for Seattle. The waterfront will finally be open, will allow new real estate development. It's a win-win for the economy. It's a win-win for the environment that will actually make Seattle by far much better than it is today.